I, I feel like for me, like I look at these best-selling authors, I'm like, well, yeah, you've got millions of followers online. You have this huge presence where people know you, they know your story, they know yeah. what you have to offer. So then whenever you do, it's like, oh, hey, I'm writing a book. And it's like, oh, well, yeah, everyone's going to buy it because they already know your story. They want to read it through the book. They're, they they know that you're you know excellent at whatever it is that you're you're working on and for someone with a a smaller following or maybe not something that people really know that you are uh, passionate about or an expert in i could see that that mental barrier of i am not them i am not well known so no one's going to buy my book uh being a huge roadblock actually uh, to actually getting out there yeah, actually, there are there are both of these different case studies. Like, there are some case studies of like people like who have millions of followers, and then they write a book. Mm -hmm. uh, then, of course, people want to buy a book. There are also a lot of a lot like thousands and thousands of case studies of people like who became popular, who became famous and successful after writing and publishing their book. Like Tim Ferriss, right? The Four Hour Work, oh, yeah. uh, yeah. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I don't know uh, if you like know this, like Brooke Casillo, like she wrote a book about weight loss. Now she has a multi-million dollar businesses. Like, so there are a lot of people like really, really great case studies out there in the market, like who people like who became famous after the book. We also got a lot of clients like who launched themselves as an international speaker after they had their book and it was not their purpose. But once the book was there in the market, people started reaching out to them that, hey, like, can you speak on this mm. stage? And they started getting TED Talk and uh, a lot of clients, leads, depending on how you want to use the book. So, so they're both a different case studies. Like, uh, even if you have less followers, even if you have no followers at all, but if you have a really, really good product and if you really write the book for the end reader, in mm -hmm. such a way that they can go from point A to point B, it's going to be a hit. And if you you have to also do the marketing as well along with that, so that people can right. uh, can be aware about your book.